Okay, so character's looking pretty good. And if I look at it um, kind of against our reference, I can see that it's not maybe fitting perfectly. Uh, but now that it's smoother, it's gonna be easier to kind of align it better. Uh, so what I can do is, let's say if I go to these vertices back here, and if I grab them and then move them out like this, you can see the problem that that's going to create. It's going to feel like, well, that we're just kind of moving chunks out. And then if I move these, you know, even if I get that aligned, it's going to be kind of uh, really disruptive uh, to the form. So what I could do is if I select the vertices like this, I can press B as in boy, and that's going to create a soft fallout, fall off. Uh, so where it's yellow, it's going to have most effect, and then red is going to have some effect, and black is going to have zero effect. Then I can press B as in boy, hold it down, middle mouse drag left and right, and you can see that I can kind of change my influence zone, you know, bigger or smaller. So I'm just going to kind of go like that. And now when I move this, it's moving, obviously, the yellow ones mostly, but then it's giving it that soft fall off, so where it's not so disruptive as it was before. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go and move this. Okay. Whoa. Make sure once again six is pressed. I'll just kind of grab this. And, and if it's not matching, you know, the form exactly, I mean, that, that's okay, but I feel like I'm just trying to get it somewhat closer. Tap the space bar to get full screen here. Here's the chin. And even something as complex as the chin or even the mouth, you can see how nice that is with that um, soft select that, you know, it's bringing the other stuff along for the ride so it doesn't really disrupt it that much. Okay, even the nose, I can kind of bring out like this. Then maybe here I want to get this a little bit less influence. And there you can see a little bit more control, localized control. I can grab as few or as many um, you know, vertices as I really want. So obviously if I'm making tighter edits, I'm going to have less vertices selected. And if I'm making g more general edits, I'm going to want to have bigger or more vertices selected. Okay, now I could even, uh, actually, let's look at the head from this way as well. Excellent. Okay, just kind of looking at how that's looking here. A little disruptive back here. Um, but overall, actually looking pretty good. Um, let's take a look here. I might turn on the wireframe on shaded so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. Once again, now kind of more general, bigger edits. Even like here, maybe I just kind of really, um, maybe even much bigger like that. OK, 
be something, yeah, along that line. And obviously I've got symmetry on, uh, so I only have to do this once. I can even scale. All right, let's see what that looks like. Maybe uh, from this way as well. Here you can see that it's kind of hard to see the um, the image. So sometimes you know I kind of move it to see if I can you know start to see the image and then I can move it back in place. There we go. Okay, great. Another thing uh, that I might want to do uh, that helps me see this a little bit better is maybe turn off the wireframe and then also assign favorite material blend. And if I do that, I can kind of start to see the form and the shape of him uh, kind of more three-dimensionally. I'm, I'm starting to see the highlights better. Um, all right, great. Our character is really coming along nicely.